Shut up and sit down. I am recording right now. Joke's on you, yeah. Boba Fett. Oh, you Fuck dumb me, son right? of a bitch. <laughs> I'm Anyways. just so glad that I'm so glad we decided to do this tonight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, we have to start it off with something. Do you have a bottle in hand? Well, since uh, this has kind of been the reoccurring theme, let me tell you what I have consumed tonight. I have consumed a total of probably about four to five shots worth of Jameson. But I've been drinking Jameson and ginger ale. So I've had about a few glasses of that. I I've had, had... Uh, bef Before I had that, on my way home from work, I bought a tall boy of Budweiser to drink all the way. Mm. Unless you're a police officer, I drank it once I finally got to my room. And then now yeah, I am drinking that'll on... that'll throw him off. Yeah. Nice now deflection, on, uh... Bob. I mean, that's what I'm. That's what I'm good for. <laughs> but right now, I'm drinking something that Brittany. When Brittany came down to visit last week, she left all kinds of alcohol because she's not able to take it on a plane. One of which was Blake's Hard Cider Company's Rosé, and it's uh, hard apple cider, with, like with like a rosé wine type of deal. I don't know. It says it's infused with strawberries and rose hips. I'm not sure what the fucking rose hip is. That's a thing. I'll give you but that. Six, but that's a thing. But it's yeah, it's six point nine alcohol, <laughs> and it tastes sweet like a six, juice. So six point nine is better than nothing, I guess. Yeah, so I'm drinking that. I, I mean, have, <laughs> I have drank, uh, and, and you can attest to this, Bob, because you can see the video. I have drank. Mm -hmm. Half, if not more, of a bottle of... That's more than half, for sure. Kamachka? Uh, uh, vodka? Because I bought terrible fucking energy drinks from... It, it, it was in a... It, there was this huge basket of energy drinks at Kroger. They were a dollar a piece. Uh, originally priced at like three something, I don't know, but they were like a Kai yeah. Berry sugar free Red Bull energy drinks. They taste like fucking cough medicine on their own. Yeah. And so, well, that's why you don't do that. That's a, <laughs> you 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 buy energy drinks that you know and love. You don't hey, try new energy drinks. Hey Bob. Hey Bob. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to eat healthier. And uh, so is that what you're drinking bottom day, shelf vodka? Which is what I suggest is... to you is not the right way to go about it. So I just try new things. So is that why you're drinking bottom shelf vodka? <laughs> it is bottom shelf vodka. It is. When like I've never heard of the brand. Is that is that even a glass bottle or is that plastic? It is glass. <laughs> okay. Was, so it's there was a plastic so it's... bottle next to it. So it's upper bottom shelf. Is what it's you're trying like to say. One point it's the higher tier of shelf. bottom shelf. It's the bottom point five bottom shelf. Bottom yeah. shelf point five. Bottom gotcha. shelf point five. <laughs> this is what it is. Like I just needed something to cut it with. Honestly, it didn't work out. It was still a terrible so, thing. So luckily, so I'm... I, I am, I like, I'm still not. Like completely comprehending this. Did you buy the vodka to cut the energy drinks? Or yeah. did you buy the energy yeah, yeah, drinks yeah, yeah. to cut the vodka? No, 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 no. I I bought the energy drinks. I was like, okay, a Kai <laughs> Berry sounds really good. This sounds awesome. I drank one at work. Garbage. Tastes like cough medicine. I hated it. I finished it because although I am 110% not Jewish, I am frugal as fuck, which you can take that however racistly as you want. I, I mean, would it really be an episode of anything from us <laughs> if there wasn't some kind of, like, accidental nope. racist mark? Nope, nope, not at all. Uh, all right. <laughs> but, 
but I, I am very frugal. I, I was like, I spent a dollar on it. I have to finish it. And so I drank it at work. And so me and a coworker got into a discussion about like, what can I do about the second one? Cause I bought two. Cause I was like, if I love it, I'm going to want another. If I hate it, you know, I only have one more to finish. Unlike certain IPAs where I bought a six pack and I've had to drink six beers of garbage every single time because IPA is trash. Not all, but yes, there's a good handful out every there. Every it's kind of like wine. I think dude. is in like the double digits now. Every one I've had is just horrible. I've hated. Uh, it. Um, I guess it's all about it's all about taste, man. Yeah. But now, I, uh, what you were speaking to was me mixing that energy drink, and now I'm just straight drinking out of the bottle of vodka, yeah, which you're, I'm going to do now real close to the mic. Yeah, you're straight, like, homeless guy in this shit, bro. You just need oh, some fingerless sure. gloves and a brown paper bag. Uh, <laughs> I had the brown paper bag earlier. <laughs> and I guarantee you have fingerless gloves somewhere in your house. Everyone was wearing fingerless gloves. You know what? You know what I'm doing there? Ah. I know what you're doing there. Ah. Anyways, Just leave it alone. Uh, <laughs> my name, eight minutes into this, is Vincent Herman, uh, otherwise known as Vin the Human. Uh, joining me today on this is... episode, someone uh, uh, you may not be familiar with in the subject to change our uh, entertainment community. And, I, and I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to introduce you in a second. A man. Hold on. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to introduce you in a second. A man who needs no introduction, so I won't give him one. <laughs> so what's we going on? <laughs> in a no. world where no. this man needs no introduction. No, Bob, Bob His... Collins, Bob Fett. Bob Collins, Boba Fett here. I love, I love. He loves. I, I love everything about that. Everything. I love everything about, about this. Oh God. <laughs> I, I'm talking to him over Facebook video chat, uh, which yeah, is why this, he sounds a little different than I do. Which is this started? I, this started as sexy. You probably are. You've got like the good mic with the fucking dampening shit on it bro like i literally have earbuds in talking into the fucking earbud mic but this this oh uh, you decision... actually sounded better when you pulled that up oh i'll yeah. pull it all the way up oh, oh yeah boy fuck bob oh, i just got yeah i just got wet with pre-cum got it just change now my underwear. hold on i've been i've been wet for a while after a quick edit <laughs> i've changed my yeah. underwear <laughs> And it is now Sunday. Yep. But no, this this episode started because we were video chatting, both drinking. Uh, Brittany was actually involved in the video chat as well. She got off the phone because all of us need to go to – like I love how she gets off the phone first, although she – out of the three of us, she needs to get up the latest – like the latest out of all three. Right. Like I've got to be up at 5.30 in the morning. I get to be up at point, 5.00. As of the point that we're recording right now, it is 11.38 p.m. <laughs> yeah, we decided just, I don't know, we are like, you know what? Do you just want to record an episode of Sons of Buds via Facebook? You know who's yeah, a total no piece of shit in this, this equation? I give you one guess. Odal. It's oh, who's Odal? Odal? That's Alpha Specter from Sort of My Podcast. Yeah, dude uh, apparently can't answer a video call like, uh, 19 times out of 20 is what you were telling me. Yes, I mean, cut every this part time. Out if you want, but no, leave this shit in here. He needs to know. The world needs to know. Every time Brittany and I try to like three-way video chatting, which sounds dirtier than what it is, he <laughs> never answers. He's him? always busy. Do you I was literally just him? thinking the same thing I'll try right now. Him right now, right now. I'm what's the What's the we can I'm make this? I'm adding him and ringing him. Okay, wait a minute. I can't hear you. Oh. oh, there you are. Oh, can you hear me? There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Uh, oh, James is busy. Oh, it says. Oh. Of course Wait he a minute. is. Is James in another video call with some sort of booty? That's oh, no. God, that was he probably declined it, and it says he's busy. Should we? Should we incessantly but, try and add him to this? I mean, why wouldn't we? Okay, I mean, let's, come on. Let's you and me keep talking as we're going. I'll keep trying to add him to the video. All right. <laughs> well, I'll continue. Uh, the reason why I even started to video chat you is because Brittany, although she has fantastic, like good looking natural hair, she's in the process of trying to dread it right now. Mm -hmm. But she likes to wear wigs as well. It's a girl thing. Apparently it's a lot easier to do to like style a wig and put it on than having to constantly like dye your hair and such, you know. But right. she left one of her wigs down here with me and Macon. So I don't know. In my happy go lucky little buzz that I had, I was like, I'm gonna throw this fucking wig on and act like a basic bitch. And out of nowhere, I'm like, you know what? I'm adding Vinny to this fucking video chat. And then, I'm of course, then we did. started then we started nerding out, talking about, like, comic creators and shit. And by that point, she's like, <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and go to bed. Like, you boys have fun. Oh, look, man. Like, like ooh, okay. our plan well, has worked. We put, it, we put it on front straight. Look, you, you and Odo are my best friends. Like, oh, yeah, no obviously. bullshit. 100%. Oh, that's my phone. Anyways, you you and Odo are my best friends. But I am not the most reliable to answer a message to show up to uh, I'm going to I'm about to throw no, my phone across my bad. the room. My bad. That that one was me because Odo did reply back. He said, "It's almost midnight and I have to be up at 6." Tell Please him to fucking... just hop on for a he second. Said, he said, "Please let me fucking sleep." And I just said, no <laughs> I saw that part. Tell him to hop on for a second. Tell him to hop on for I am. just Hold on. a second. Just hop on Anyways. I I am the least reliable to be available for a social event to like anyone listening to this who has tried to add me to such things. I don't know, man. Like, uh, it, it's all about a mood thing. If I'm in the mood to be out and about, I'm going to come out. I'm going to fucking be a personality. And that, and, and that's not me being cocky. That's just me saying, like, this is who I am. I'm self-aware enough to know that if I come out to your event, I'm going to try to shine. And if I don't yeah. have the energy for that... I'm just not going to fucking give it the time of day. And I, I think you and Odell have both picked up on that, that, like, I'm not always on. I'm not always there. I'm not always, like, I want to be a part of this conversation. I I don't always want to be a part of uh, the drama. The drama, I think, is a big thing that separates all three of us. Oh, the, God, it, yeah. Because I out of everyone has the least time for drama. I hate it. I don't buy into it. Just today we were talking about a certain level of drama, which I don't want to bring up specifically on the podcast, but somebody oh, messaged yeah. me today and it's like, what the that, fuck? I deal with that drama quite frequently. And yeah. there's is... little bursts there's little bursts of time where I don't have to deal with that drama. Which is very, like, like it's very relaxing. It's very, like, my anxiety levels drop the whole night. But there's certain things attached to this person that causes me to have to, have to communicate with this person. And which, that is, the, my, I that is say, the biggest fucking thing. And you know what? This is actually kind of a good topic for this uh, episode to go towards. And it's it's not a slight. It's not a slight in the in the least. But I want to say, like, a good topic for us to go into 14 minutes into with me accidentally opening Adobe Premiere Pro <laughs> is uh, Brittany. Brittany, who yeah. has at mm -hmm. least by now, okay, because I'm not sure what what order I'm uh, I'm releasing these in, 
by now and or in the future will appear on the podcast. She is she appeared in the debut episode. Yeah, I was gonna say she yeah. she is technically in the debut episode in the intro, right? But you don't yeah. Yeah. you don't know. And that that is the thing that drives me nuts. I gotta talk to you about this. Not, okay. not because I'm like Oh, you know, hey, you know, you've only been dating Brittany for so long. How do you know? Blah, blah, blah. But me, I've got to talk to you about this because me, personally, I am so fucking avoidant of relationships right now because, because mm-hmm. of that. Because of, I don't know. Because I don't yeah. want to waste time. Because, honestly, my ideal mate right now is not I'm so fucking passionately in love with you that I've got to do this thing for you that I've got to do that thing for you my ideal mate is someone who's like we both have goals let's accomplish them but let's accomplish them together without them affecting each other I'm like a mm-hmm. fucking 40 year old who's five, no 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 who needs to be five years into the relationship <laughs> so I need to be the 40. 40- I'm a, uh, I am I want to be the 40-year-old who wants to be the 45-year-old in a co-45-year-old relationship. Oh, you and, and what, what you I'm were saying? saying, absolutely. And what you were saying about, like, uh, each, person having, each person having goals and wanting to both yeah. accomplish these goals, but together, like, that's exactly where I'm at right now. Like see, there's, see, I'm not. There, there's a lot I, of things that aren't that haven't come to light yet right. for the general public. I think, including you as well, that like no, there's no, no. and we can, there's we plans can talk and motions. Those off mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's plans and motions that like I didn't think was going to happen ever in my life. Like, now that I'm hearing about them this way, which by the way, I am hearing about this like hint for the first yeah. time this way. Yeah. Uh, like I am very like off mic. I want to know what the fuck you're talking about. Okay. But I do yeah, want to say right now. I do want to say right now. I like Brittany. Everything yeah. we have recorded with Brittany, I have enjoyed every interaction beyond recording. I have enjoyed. I like Brittany. I'm just saying, like, how do you know you this isn't well, the rebound? Well, you can't have uh, her. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no! Oh my god! No, it like I had to download that shit before before I actually heard it. No. Okay. If we're how do I that, know? If we're gonna, how do that, I know? No, 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 no. We're gonna go that route. I can't handle Britney. Like me personally, I can't handle Britney. And I'll I be mean, up front about not, that. I don't want her because I can't handle her. I'm not even sure. going to comment on that. But, I'm not even going to comment but on no, that. But no, okay. how do you know she's not the rebound? How do you know that this isn't like, because you, okay, if we're being up front okay. with the people who yeah. are listening, Go ahead. you are fresh off mm-hmm. of a, do, uh, can I say the word? Yeah, yeah. Divorce. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're fresh yeah. off of a, a, a basically divorce, which yeah. we mentioned in the first episode. I don't know if this is going to be number three or the if this is going to be number seven. But you, you are fresh off of a dis- divorce, which we mentioned in the first episode. I have vehemently cut out of the second episode. How do you know this is not... The rebound, because How that's I, something because, I, I have been in the rebound so fucking well, many times. This is this is this is how I know, Vin. I have had rebounds. Right, yeah, yeah, prior. yeah. Yeah, you, you and had. and there's a certain feeling whenever you do have a rebound, or at least for me personally, where it's like, Oh no, this person that I'm now dating, I can I can see a certain future with but you still have certain feelings for the person that you just left. Now God you can be. Damn it. You're you're speaking so much to me on that. I'm gonna let you, you can, finish, but that is yeah. so much to me. Right now, 
like you you can like you could truly feel for a person that you're with, but you still have some kind you know, like you're there's still a piece of you that's still with that other person. Mm-hmm. Like you still are tethered to that person in a way. And that's how I was like, you know, I mean, fuck, like this this is a podcast where we're, we're fucking real with each other and shit. Yeah. So whatever whatever we're, we're real whatever with me each and my other ex and we're real with the listeners. Yeah, well our listeners is who I'm speaking of when I say each other. Like, is anybody that is listening is part of this conversation? Granted, it's one sided for them, but no. Okay. It, it really whatever. Isn't. Me and my ex. And I want to speak on that right now, motherfuckers. Okay. If you made it this far, you can comment down below. Oh doesn't yeah, matter for sure. If you're on a cell phone, a fucking computer, it doesn't matter. You can comment below. Comment. You snail mother- mail. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. But a few years ago, my ex and I split up. And we split up for, what, like seven, eight months. Yeah. And uh, I've it been was... cutting those out, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Like, I'll, I mean, this is, this is all shit that you need to keep in because this is all to answer your question and it all leads to the answer of your question. Okay. Um, I, I, I will shut up from now on. Right, until you, no, you, you say end. No, you won't. No, 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 you no. Won't. no for okay. real. Until you say end, end of All right. my explanation, All right. I will shut up. All right. Well, like I said, we, we split up for about seven to eight months uh, a few years back, back in 2016. And I took it hard. Like, it, it was very, very hard and rough on me. Um, I went through a lot of... Uh, a lot of experiences and personal battles that, like, I've never had to deal with. And then I eventually got with a with a woman. Uh, you know who she is. I won't I mention names on air, but you but you know as well that like this person is a great person. And I, I mean, I could see a lot of potential in this person, but I knew instantly that. There was there was still parts of me that I wasn't able to give to this person. Now, although her and I, um, let's say her name is okay. Let's say let's say her name is Alana, which I'll probably forget while I'm talking about this. Okay, Alana was a great woman, is a great woman, and. Alana was somebody that I've known for years, and we just it just kind of gradually grew into like us being friends uh, in person years prior to us just you know me communicating through internet and such to the point where um, Alana and I finally decided to like meet up and everything and just kind of hang out. And I really liked Alana. I really started having feelings for a lot of, but I always knew that like it wasn't going to work out. And eventually, things things broke up because uh, one of the big reasons why is like we both had different goals, um, like different end games. There was there were certain things that a lot of wanted that I didn't want anymore, or that I already had that I didn't want to have again. Or certain experiences that even now that it's been three years since then, my viewpoints have changed on all those. But, like, even if we were yeah, on the same page. And I, I know I said I wouldn't interject, but. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It, it, it really can. Like, if you're listening to this and you're in your early 20s, look out for the things that could be. It, it, yeah, like, yeah, that is the biggest thing I can say, is because in my mid twenties I thought I had myself figured out. Now mm-hmm. I'm in my early thirties and I'm saying, oh shit, nah, that guy didn't know anything. Exactly, and your viewpoints and your goals can change pretty fucking quickly within a, like even a year or so's time. Like, everything that you wanted to do or thought you didn't want to do can change pretty quickly. But Elena, or Alana, whatever her name was chosen to be, her and I, like, 
we 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 had potential, but at the end of the day, it was never going to work. Not even just because of the goals, but because like at that time, I was still very um, still raw. very invested and attached to my ex. Not even raw. I mean, it was raw, but like this, the relationship I'm in with Brittany right now was even more raw. It was even more quick, and that's what I'm going to get to. But um. And uh, going back to Elena and I, Elena and I, we, we wind up going our separate ways. She had a lot of negative feelings towards me for the longest time. And then she, like, I think we've gotten to the point now where, like, it's sort of okay. Like, I know that, like, she's still not completely cool with me. And I've never had any hard feelings towards her whatsoever. Quite the opposite, actually. Like, she is a great person. She's a great mother. She's, I mean... All in all, she like she's a she's a stand up person, but just we weren't great together. But there was a certain feeling I still had for my ex the whole time, even though I tried to deny it, even though I tried to like not think about it. There was still some connection there. Now, my ex and I got back together. We were together for a few years, and everything felt different after that. I still tried. Um, I'd be lying if I was to say I was probably like the ideal best husband. No, but and, she, and... she as well was not the ideal best wife. I and can, that's the thing. Like, I can being... definitely attest to that. Like, you know, I've been there. And yeah, it and... took a long time to get where I'm at with it. Anyways, I'm sorry. No, no, no you're fine. You're fine. But like, I mean, there was a lot of times that I was. I had a lot of paranoia, I had a lot of depression and stuff that was caused by um, the events that caused us to split up the first time around. Well, this time around, like, not going into details, it kind of came out of left field, in a way. Um, at the time, it definitely felt like it came out of left field. <clears throat> Looking back on it, there was some, um, like, warning signs that I should have picked up on. Um, but for the most part, at, especially at the beginning, I had really no hard feelings. Yeah, it was shitty. There was about a day or so well, where I felt like I was going to get back to that point where I felt depressed and shitty about myself. But then it, I mean, out of nowhere, it just kind of hit me like, you know what? No, like, this was probably the best. Like, let's do this the right way. Which, uh, jump forward uh, four or five months now, it, oh, God, it's a fucking nightmare and it's a mess. And I'll go right on record here now in saying that, like, I definitely tried. I tried to be civil. I tried to be cordial. Um, but because of the fact that not only did I start dating Brittany, but also I eventually stopped, like, playing into and playing along with certain games or certain things that my ex wanted to do, and try to, you know, I mean, have full control over, like, it's, it brought her to the point where, like, now we are in full-blown, dirty fucking divorce. But, yeah. to go back to answer your question, in this very long way of doing so, when I got with Brittany, first initially, it was, like, a, it's kind of the same situation, we've been friends for, like, I've known her for years, been friends, um, after uh, my ex and I split up. She invited me to her house. Uh, I was still in the Sida County area at that time when I came back from work. And Brittany was in Columbus. Well, she invited me up. It's like a two-hour drive to come up here. We just have dinner. And flat out said, like, listen, we don't have to do, you know, we don't have to have sex. We don't have to do anything dirty. Like, I just want to be here as a friend to, like, you know I mean, yeah, you know I mean, so you have somebody, have somebody else to talk to, have somebody else to say, you know I mean, do things with if you want to go out to the bookstore or whatever you want to do. Well, that's kind of exactly what happened. Uh, I got there late one night, the first night that I'd seen her in years. Um, nothing happened, you know I mean, but we both fell asleep in the same bed, like <laughs> no one was naked, nothing like that, and just legitly slept next to each other, which that alone just felt great. Then the next day, got up, got ready, everything for the day. 
we went to a bookstore. We spent a few hours at this bookstore, just walking around, checking everything out, just being goofy. And that's one thing that instantly, like, was, uh, I don't know, Intoxicating. for lack of a better term. Yeah, for lack of a better term, that was a big turn on for me, was that I was able to be my stupid ass, goofy, slightly embarrassing self without somebody being like, listen, like you like you need to calm the fuck down. Like that's not cool. You know what I mean? Like she was all for it. She like we had a great time in this bookstore. We went out to dinner. Well like and same shit. Like I was just being like to the point that I thought we were gonna get kicked out of this restaurant. She was laughing so fucking hard. And then went out for drinks and stuff and like just that one day, like, it sounds cheesy, it sounds stereotypical, it sounds like a rom-com, but I knew in that day, I knew in that bookstore even, that, like, this girl is somebody that, like, it's kind of what I've been missing. Like, I'd be lying if I said that my ex and I didn't have good times, because we did. We actually, we, we, we had two beautiful children that I, I love with every ounce of my being. But I feel like we stayed together for that for as long as we did because of those children and because of the history we had with each other. It was hard for us to just break that off. But after it did happen, and like what I felt when I was with Brittany, like and the experiences that we had together and the understanding we had together, like it hit me like this is like what I've been missing. Like I've been missing this like like this co not even codependency this co existence with somebody you know what i mean like she 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 doesn't suggest things that makes me want to be a better person and vice versa but at the same time she never judges me on how i am naturally and i don't do it for her you know what i mean like everything everything that like i feel when i'm with her everything that i feel whenever I think about her, it's all positive. Even whenever there's times that we're, like, I mean, we, we, we get into arguments from time to time. Everybody fucking does. Any, literally, in my opinion, any healthy relationship needs to have disagreements. Sometimes they're stupid. Sometimes they're, like, kind of, I mean, one of us thinks it's stupid or petty or minute or, you know what I mean, like, whatever. But, after it happens, you, you know what I mean, I stop and think on it like, no, like, she has a point. Or she'll stop and think, like, no, he has a point. And then we come to, a new, like, we come to this mutual agreement. We come to this understanding. And it's never, like, I never feel like I need to change myself for her. She gives me this feeling where I want to change myself for her. Not because, like, she thinks that I'm not good enough, but I don't think I'm good enough. You know what I mean? Like, she, she, she kind of like lights this thing in me that's like, it causes me to want to be like the better version of myself, and that's that's kind of how I know. Like, it's hard for me to explain, like, put this all into words, but like, it's not like, oh, well, she takes my mind off of my ex. It would, it's instantly like, I'm happy with this person. I feel like that I finally, like I'm finally in this position, and I'm finally with somebody that makes me feel that same way. Like it makes me feel like, like I'm doing something right. And yeah, that's kind of how I know. And you're allowed to talk now. I can't hear you. I think you still have your mic muted, Vincent. I think you're still muted, Vincent. Let's 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 try again, Vincent. No, I still can't hear you, Vincent. Nope, your mouth's moving and nothing's happening. Uh, God damn.